Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared and we have three new off-grid knives. Starting it off, we have one of their rapid fire series knives. I honestly didn't know it was going to be assisted, but I bought it. It's assisted and this would be the rapid fire blackout worn cliff. I do However, love the blade shape. Now, this is supposed to be somewhat of a rescue knife. Now, they do have another version. Might as well break it out. That is serrated and has a glass breaker. So this one has the glass breaker and the nasty serrations. It still has a straight edge up here, you know, for like opening things up, which I could see this still working out great for EDC, especially if you're cutting ropes, um, straps and things like that, plus opening things up because with this pinch grip, you know, this, this Warncliffe blade will be amazing for EDC. Absolutely. And if you got to cut, you know, through ropes and twine or things like that, this thing's going to be amazing. Now, like I said, assisted. So you guys already know an assisted knife is going to launch out there really good. I'm not a huge assisted knife fan. However, I do get comments quite often of people requesting a good quality assisted knife because let's be real, 90% of assisted knives are crap. Um, it allows the, the company to, to, to not have to have good fit and finish, not have to have a smooth knife. Um, it allows them to, to basically, you know, not not do things fully in line and they get, they get to cut corners basically and then also because it can be popular amongst people who don't know what a good detent feels like and they don't you know really know good action they they think that an assisted knife has good action because it launches out so easily even though a good assisted knife will launch out or sorry a good detent knife will launch out um, just as well, if not better, the be the benefit is, though, is you don't have to struggle with the clothes to work past that, that spring. You get to just drop it, and you can drop it right down until it shuts. Anyways, getting past that, 14C28N, love that blade steel, amazing steel. Now, Best Tech is the one doing the OEM work for off-grid knives, at least for these knives, the premium knives. I think we does, but... You know, I'm not 100% on that, but I do know, I, or at least I believe Best Tech is the one that did these. Good access to the lock bar, at least decent. They they let it protrude on the one side, so it's not too difficult to, to, to disengage. Um, landing zone is jimped, but it's not uncomfortably jimped. And you can technically use this little spot right there if you really need to. Very, very comfortable. Holy crap, comfortable. Um, deep carry clip, somewhat of a spoon clip that, um, you know, everyone I've tried so far has worked out great. Um, remember this is just a first impressions. Now, as far as this one goes, this one will probably be the more popular one. You're not going to have the glass breaker on it. Now, when I first opened it up, it, uh, did need to be flipped a couple times. You know, that's how an assisted knife is. They're usually on washers, and I believe these are on washers, not on bearings. So, um, yeah, but it, it was a little bit rough on the opening. But after opening it up a few times, it, it wound, wound up locking up just fine. But at first, it didn't lock up. It went to, like, right there. And then I closed it and did it again, and it, you know, gave me a lazy flip again. But now it's starting to, to smooth out and these will smooth out even more and more over time i should be able to disengage it and the the blade drop down to there so that i can close it which will eventually happen as the knife breaks in over time g10 scales that are very very grippy again extremely extremely comfortable um and on this one, you can really use this flipper tab because you don't have the serrations poking you at all. So this is going to be a phenomenal blade shape for EDC. Even for self-defense, you know, and off-grid knives does make somewhat tactical-ish knives. Knives. Uh. All right, let's get to this next one. <laughs> now, this one I like quite a bit. This is the Stinger X. L. Now it comes in multiple different versions and I'm going to link everything down in the description so you guys can maybe check out the other colors and other options and stuff. Um, this one is the Coyote, I think. Yeah, the Coyote. Um, beautiful spear point. Uh, well, so it is a spear point, but because it has this grind the way it goes, it's a bayonet 
blade shape as well. So it's somewhat of a spear point bayonet blade shape. Love it, man. This thing is going to have very good puncturing um, because the thickest part of the blade is going to be right in the center. So upon entering something, it's going to allow that wound channel to be very thick right here in the middle or wide and then also wide in this direction as well. But it's not so thick and it is knocked down that it'll be able to pass over or pass through materials really well. And the Ergos, man, this thing is so comfortable. Even in the reverse grip, you know, going towards myself, cutting ropes is very comfortable. This thing, it's a beast. It is big. A gas station fight fighting uh, grip is uh, really comfortable as well. So the balance seems like it's pretty good. And it's not assisted. Great detent. Very easy to open. Now, it is a big blade. It is a heavy blade. So you don't want to just break the detent. You, and it does have a stiff detent. Don't get me wrong. Great detent. But you just have to semi mean to flip it, you know? Like, if you give it any effort whatsoever, it's going to flip every single time. Like, the D10 strong enough that I can't really reverse flick off of the coating. So, that says a lot. The D10's nice and strong. Perfect D10. Um, it's just, it's a big blade. It's a long blade. And it, and it is very easy to flip. Um, you do have the flipper tab right there that you can kind of take advantage of to go over the top of if you want to get some really close cutting action. The blade steel is 154 cm, good steel. Um, I like the 14C a little bit better, but they're still they're right there in the same type of range where they're both going to be easy to sharpen, both going to be stainless, both going to strop back really easily. Um, now 14C is a bit tougher. Man, that thing is smooth. Here's a quick little clip of it next to the XM24 and the Hinder XM18. And you can see it is basically the same length as the XM24. It is a beast. Now it does have a reversible deep carry clip, as you can see. I'm not sure if the third screw, um, I is uh for you to adjust it in any way i don't think so but maybe it is maybe uh, maybe not uh maybe they just do that so there's no movement because these are very solid clips so it's going to work great in and out of the pocket inset with flat screws that's how a clip should be done perfectly centered let's check the lock up rock solid lock up oh yeah let me check with these ones yeah Rock solid lockup. You got to give um, Off Grid some credit there, man. Their, their knives are very solid. And that's why, you know, I somewhat put them in the folding tactical kind of category as in real, you know, because just because a knife looks the part or, you know, says it's the part, that doesn't mean it can actually hold up. These are actually, you know, well built, toughly built, solid knives that, uh, that perform and i wouldn't say go baton them or anything like that but they're gonna do some pretty tough tasks pretty you know pretty easily man that blade shape i just love it it's so good for edc because you can easily get to the tip you can easily do uh you know longer cuts slicing things like that you can easily cut ropes and straps with it you can easily penetrate something you can easily get into a gas station fight right it's just so universal i love it <laughs> um stop pin not the biggest stop pin in the world for but it's still a good size so not small not big average I always prefer bigger, but let's check that lock up again. Nice and slow. Pulls the, the, the lock bar pulls itself right into engagement. Gotta love that. Very cool. Yeah, I'm liking this one quite a bit. Now this one, man, I would love it so much more if it wasn't assisted. However, however, um, if, a, if you like assisted or if assisted doesn't bother you, this thing's badass. Um, I think uh, even with the assist, you know, it's still it's a, a rock solid knife. It's going to function as a tool really, really good. And a lot of people do like assisted. So, you know, um, other than that, you know, I'm not a big fan of how they did the plunge grind and the choil. But 
being somewhat of a rescue style knife, the benefits of this, I understand it. So I'm not going to get mad at the sharpening tool and plunge grind here. This is actually how it probably should be. The reason why is because like, say if I needed to cut a strap really quick or sorry, a seatbelt. If I go behind, say if the seatbelt's running across somebody's chest, you go behind it. You don't have to worry about cutting the person because of the spine of the blade. You can grab the the seatbelt and you don't have to worry about anything getting caught in the choil. Or if you're going to cut it in this direction, you can literally just let it hit this part right here and it'll just pull itself right into the edge. You're never going to get caught on a sharpening notch or sharpening choil that could hinder you in a time where seconds matter. So, anyways, there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.